Is there, looking back, if you could go back three months and right. give yourself a piece of advice about making the move, what would be the one piece of advice that you'd give yourself? The one piece of advice that I would give, give myself in making the move, hmm. I would say to learn a little bit more of, of, of the language, not, not become fluent in Vietnamese in two weeks, that's impossible, mm -hmm. but to learn a bit more of the basics. Because let me tell you a funny story right? <laughs> of, of why I'm saying this, okay? Um, and especially since it's my, it's my first time out of South Africa. So even, you know, going on Google Maps and stuff and looking for something, it's, it's different to doing that in an English speaking country like South Africa. So what happened was we, we quarantined for two weeks. Then we had to fly from Hanoi back to Ho Chi Minh City. And it was with one of the guys that flew over with me, Marcus. And so it was like our flight was like, I think, it was five in the morning. We were awake, ready on time, get a grab on the way to the airport. And he took us to the wrong terminal. But the distance between it's not, it's not like it's just a quick walk to the other terminal. He took us to the international terminal. We had to obviously be at the domestic terminal. And now that's a one kilometer walk. It's 5.30 in the morning. It's saying 10 minutes to get a new grab. So the thing is though, why I say learn a bit of the basics about the language and learn where you're going, exactly where you need to be. Because we missed that flight. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, that's the, 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 the kicker of the story. We missed that flight and now we're stressing out. We had a contact Nan and, and, and the company and booked the next flight. So, so it was a bit chaotic, but I think that I could have did better uh, preparation mm -hmm. to overcome the language barrier. Because obviously our driver at the same time didn't speak a word of English. And when he dropped us off at the terminal, I'm like, it looks a bit quiet here. So we had to take 15 minutes to go in, find someone who could finally communicate with us to say, hey, you're at the wrong terminal. The other one's like a kilometer down there, <laughs> right? <laughs> then I look at the time and it's like five minutes for boarding to close. And then I, I look at trying to get another grab, it's just 10. Do you understand? Yeah. The whole thing. Yeah. So the one piece of advice I would say especially in the beginning, prepare a bit more, um, looking at the destinations that you're going to and where you need to be, because mm -hmm. the language barrier is a challenge. Okay. But I could have overcame it if I prepared a bit more, but like I said before, no regrets. It's a story to tell. Yeah. Yes. All right.